fruit salad type answer, never the one in the back of the book. Life doesn't provide you with the books with all the answers, but that's not what the teachers are trying to teach you, though it seems like it. I'll tell you a story about my oldest son a little later about that, how he found how do you find answers. But do you daydream? All these people that I showed you, and perhaps all of your heroes or heroines, all daydream. I remember working with a client that made clothing. Most of the clothing companies in the United States it's actually made somewhere else in the world. It's designed in the United States, maybe. Sometimes designed in France or Italy, then contracted to be made somewhere else in the world. But there was a company called Duckhead Apparel. They made, uh, we call them tacky, They're kind of a tan colored pants that are real heavy and they last, you can do almost anything in them. They're not really meant for dress wear, they're meant for play or casual wear. But they also made shirts, they made slacks, they made shorts, they made lots of things when I worked with them. But they have one guy, when I walked through their offices, every time I looked in his office, he was always sitting on his in his chair, feet up on the desk, hands behind his head, staring out the window. And I asked the CEO of the company, I said, I'm not sure what's going on. He obviously is a good employee. He wouldn't have that beautiful office, but what is he doing? He says, oh, we don't worry about him. He invented half of our products. When he's staring out his window, he may be thinking about the next product that will make millions of dollars. And then I said, you know what? The good thing for him is you might get someone to wash his window so they're clear. <laughs> Do you laugh a lot? The more you laugh, the more creative you tend to be. And it's good to be serious. There are things to be serious about. You no doubt have things in your lives that are things you need to be serious about. But life itself deserves more laughter. And laughter will give you creativity faster than anything else. Do you imagine things? Are you thinking of machines or processes or uh, boys thinking about girls and girls thinking about boys? That kind of imagination too. Do you ask a lot of questions? In my country, by the age of four, children are basically taught not to ask that many questions because they keep asking this one, why? 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 And then when they're teenagers, when they ask for the use of the car, they go, why not? <laughs> when you were five years old, try to think back to them. Could you draw? If that was the case, raise your hand. Either hand. Could you draw when you were five years old or younger? Oh, come on. All right. Could you sing? I'm not saying recordable cell record kind of singing. Did you dance or did you dance? Then my next question is, many of you stopped by the age of nine? Many, not all. And this, this is the title of a speech I've given several times. We are born rainbows but are turned into dark gray lines. Before we start school, we play with crayons like that, as pieces of color. We don't think about them being wax, they're color, and then they're good quality. Or it could be pastel, on chalk. But once we enter school, we're taught to use crayons like those other things, like pencils with the wrappers on them. My art teacher, the first time we were in class, 